Hello, Tracy from Salem. Um, just came to wish everyone a blessed Beltane, which begins tonight at sundown. Um, commonly these days known as May Day, um, Beltane is um, an important and joyful festival um, in my particular um, spiritual tradition. Uh, and um, it is generally thought of as the uh, halfway point between the equinox and the summer solstice. Although I think astronomically speaking, that is technically May 5th. But most neo-pagans celebrate Beltane on, on May 1st and Beltane, beginning Beltane's Eve uh, because the Celtic calendar and many calendars, older calendars, started at sundown, much like the Jewish calendar. So um, anyway, Beltane is uh, a very uh, celebrated in, in, you know, quote unquote, Celtic lands. Um, it's from the Irish, well, the, uh, it's, it's celebrated in Ireland, Scotland, Wales, um, the British Isles particularly. Um, Bell was the, uh, possibly the sun god. Bell means shining one in, um, in Irish, and um, the teen part, I'm not saying it correctly, in the Irish uh, means fire. Um, I think, and I think the Irish pronounce it Bealtaine. Um But anyway, it was essentially the start of summer. So ancient, uh, more, more um, ancient cultures, uh, specifically the Celts and others, um, really thought of two seasons, winter and summer. Uh, and so this is the beginning of summer for them. Um, and because, and so, you know, agriculturally, it was the time that they were bringing the um, cattle down, uh, or I'm sorry, taking them up to the summer pastures. Um, and lots of things are blooming. So where I live in New England, it's really the start of spring for us, but the British Isles um, and, and Western Europe has the Gulf Stream running up. Uh, and so they actually experience sun, summer, I'm sorry, spring much earlier than we do. They're starting to celebrate spring in February and March. Um, and so anyway, Bealtaine is thought of really as the beginning of summer. Um, it's, a, it's a festival of fertility and fecundity, as you might guess. Um, and um, so they would take they would uh, take the cattle before they took them up to their summer pastures, they would take them and run them between two bonfires. Uh, as I noted, um, part of the, the word Beltane comes from the word fire and Beltane is considered a fire festival. And uh, so they would run the cattle through two huge bonfires to purify them and, you know, jumpstart all the, all the good stuff. Um, they also, uh, particularly in Ireland, um, think of it, it, it's not that it's a water festival, it's a fire festival, but water also can play a very big part in it. Um, because it's a time when you might go to the Holy Wells, uh, which are all over Ireland, um, or you might collect morning dew, particularly if you, I think, were a um, young maiden, for example, you might uh, collect that early morning dew for love charms and whatnot, so the water might be used in charms. Um, as the maypole implies, it's a pretty, it's a pretty phallic symbol, right, the maypole. Um, so it really has that emphasis on fertility, uh, you know, lots of kids were born nine months after Beltane um, because it could, it was almost seen as your duty to go out into the woods or beyond the Beltane fire and have a great time with your loved one. Um, for, for folks, you know, like myself, I'm a single woman. Um, and so I tend to think of uh, that fertility in terms of my creativity um, in all forms uh, and love in all forms um, 
and it's really about it's the beginning of summer so it's about also like new initiatives like what do you want to start growing right now um, it puts me in mind of that that quote that we see everywhere these days bloom where you are planted um, so I have my fire and my water I have my offering um, which I will go put out uh, my uh, Greek honey cake with um, lavender honey and I will go and put that out tonight tonight is also a new moon so there's a lot of really fantastic new beginnings new initiatives getting started energy happening um, and I do have this um, altar cloth that I made a couple of years ago specifically for Beltane um, so I'll be putting out this altar cloth um, lots of French knots and maybe you can't see it lying down but this is a um, maybe I need to take take my camera out of its little holder and show you the labyrinth in the middle um, with all of its French knots and the 3D flowers. Um, I have to, oh, I keep putting my finger in front of the camera. I have to fluff these up a little bit. I don't quite have the 3D thing going because it's been uh, folded away for the year, obviously. So it's just, just coming out. Um, in the Southern Hemisphere, they are celebrating Beltane, uh, sorry, Samhain, which is on the other side of the wheel of the year. Um, we celebrate Samhain here in the Northeast on uh, October 31st, known as Halloween. Um, both Samhain and Beltane are um, festivals that are really uh, considered, where the, where the veil between the worlds is considered very thin. Um, at All Hallows' Eve, Halloween, Samhain, um, uh, it's a lot about the ancestors and about being able to connect with your ancestors through the, through the thin veil. At Beltane, the emphasis is more on the fact that it uh, uh, is more on um, uh, the land of the fae, or the fairy, or the she, as they say in, in Ireland, um, that uh, one of the things you have to watch out for is that the fae are out and about. In Anglo-Saxon cultures, this is called Walpurgis Night, Nacht, Walpurgis Nacht, or Walpurgis Night, um, so named after uh, St. Walpurga um, in around, I don't know, I think it was like 800 or 900, I don't exactly know. Um, but she was a saint who was particularly lauded for um, stopping uh, sorcery in her area. And so Walpurgis Nacht is often considered the night when the witches are out <laughs> and riding, so you've got to be careful. Um, anyway, just want to wish, I'm going to just close on this beautiful flower arrangement and wish everyone a happy Beltane. Hopefully you can be creative and fertile and loving and, um, start something exciting and new in your near future. Take care.